Hi, Jeff Cote here with uh, Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from a fellow boarder for our Ask PYS segment. So here's the question, and a pretty common one. Um, Hi Jeff, I've got a stock alternator, and by the way, most of us do, a lead acid battery for cranking and an AGM house battery bank. Is it okay to install a battery isolator? Will the un alternator undercharge the house AGM banks because there's no external regulator? All right, well, first of all, let's just think about regulator. Um, your alternator, if it has an internal regulator or external regulator, can only really charge one profile. So you've got to make a decision. Are you going to charge correctly your AGM battery banks or are you going to charge correctly your flood to lead acid battery bank? You can't really have one alternator do two things. It can only charge to one profile. So in this instance, we've got an internal regulator, which is going to charge the battery about to 14.4 volts. Okay, that's basically what its target voltage is. And that's a perfect target voltage for a flooded lead acid battery. So putting a battery isolator on the output of that alternator is going to mean that the flooded lead acid battery, which is for engine start, is going to be getting the right voltage because the regulator is actually outputting for that battery. And the AGM battery is going to be chronically undercharged because it's not receiving an AGM charge profile. It's important to remember that a battery isolator is not this magical device that can actually regulate and change battery voltage. It doesn't get an input and say, oh, by the way, battery, starting battery one wants this voltage and start and house battery two wants a different voltage. It does not modulate or change, convert the battery voltage for different type of batteries. It's simply spreading, sharing, right? Uh, the different battery banks to be charged from one alternator. So ideally, when we do this sort of systems, I always recommend to boat owners, especially if you're gonna have one alternator charging two battery banks, the easiest thing is to have all AGM, right? And because you wanna have the best sort of charge profile, if you have an AGM battery bank, it's definitely better, depending on the manufacturer, to consider an external regulator so that your battery gets the exact, exact voltage on a three-phase charging curve so that the battery lasts longer but you can get away with just having an internal regulator to charge an EGM. It's not great, but it will work. It's just gonna chronically undercharge the battery. And that's where a battery charger with a three-phase charging is perfect. So make sure that if you've got a stock alternator with a stock regulator, that you've got a compatible AGM battery charger to recharge your batteries uh, when you're not running the engine. So that's a really good question. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.